Today we're going to talk a little bit about the history of H&R shotguns and I'm going to show you a few from my collection. So let's go. What's up crew? It's Chris with Clover Tech. Welcome back to the channel. Going to jump straight into the history, but make sure you stick around to the end of the video. I've got a pretty rare shotgun that I want to tell you about. Now, H&R or Harrington and Richardson, well, they started producing firearms way on back in 1871 and continued to produce predominantly shotguns up until they went out of business in 1986. Now, H&R production resumed again in 1991 under the name H&R 1871. Subsequently, they were sold to Marlin in the year 2000. More on that at the end of the video. Marlin and, of course, subsequently H&R were sold to Remington in 2008. And then ultimately, the H&R line completely was discontinued in 2015. So with history out of the way, let's take a look at a few of the examples I've got here. This is an H&R, the original company, Topper Model 158, chambered for 3-inch 410, 28-inch barrel on this thing, full choke, and these were manufactured somewhere between 1962 and 1973. Next up is a shotgun produced by the newer H&R 1871. This right here is the Pardoner sb1 shotgun 26 inch barrel modified choke chambered for two and three quarter inch 28 gauge manufactured from about 2008 to 2014. next up is the topper model m48 now this thing was produced from 1943 to 1956 interesting thing about this was the first time H&R used the topper model so this is the original this particular example 30 inch barrel full choke chambered for the 16 gauge shell next is one of the very last models produced by the old school H&R company this right here is an American classic model 088 this particular example 3 inch 20 gauge 26 inch barrel full choke uh, and these produced from about 1979 to 1986. Now we're going to get to a few more unique shotguns from H&R here in a second, but let's round out what I would consider the normal shotguns. Uh, this one built under the H&R 1871 brand, so newer model. It is the Topper 098. This particular example, 28-inch barrel, modified choke, 3-inch, 12 gauge shell and this one produced from roughly 1992 to 2007. Quick side note but you're probably going to see more of the previous shotguns I talked about. I do have one of the new Flyway 80 trap machines from our good friends at Do All Outdoors and pretty soon we're going to get that put together. We're going to take it out in the field and we're going to test out those old H&R shotguns and just see how good they are at knocking down some clays. I promise you some more unique shotguns. Let's start out with the H&R Tamer built under the H&R 1871 brand. 20 inch barrel, uh, modified choke on this one, chambered for three inch 20 gauge shells, built from uh, roughly 1994 to about 2014. Now let's ramp it up a notch with a beast of a shotgun. This right here is the H&R Ultra Slug, uh, a big, heavy 24 inch rifled barrel on this thing chambered for three inch 12 gauge these built uh, somewhere between 1995 i believe and 2014. i've saved the best for last and our final example we're going to look at today is going to be the marlin m200 this thing a 28 inch modified choke barrel chambered for the three inch 12 gauge and you heard me correctly i said a marlin m 200. Why is that? Well, if you remember back earlier in the video, I talked about the history and how Marlin purchased H&R or absorbed them in the year 2000. Well, they quickly started producing a short run of the M200 12-gauge shotguns for sale in Kmart stores, if you can believe that. And I'd love to hear from you on what H&R stuff you might have in your collection. Let me know down in the comments below. Hey, if you're looking for more content on shotguns, we have it on the channel and I've got it for you right over here. As for this one, we're done. So thanks for hanging out. Thanks for watching. And until next time, don't forget to chain fire freedom.